In 2007, the first ongoing survey of mainland nesting beaches was conducted by the Environmental Awareness Group with invaluable guidance from Wildcast and the Jumbi Bay Hawks Bill Project team. Spearheaded by Michael Clovis, her team of trained conservationists and volunteers is able to monitor nesting activity of some five significant sites around Antigua during the key nesting months of March to November. Executive Director of EAG says the project includes turtle tours in an effort to educate the youth within the Twin Island State. We run a great floating classroom program where we work with tour operators out in Seatons okay. and we take students, um, primary and secondary, public and private schools out and they actually go on the, the boats and visit the mangroves and we talk about them. We, um, one of the tour operators jumps in the water and pulls up a sea life to do a, a nice demonstration and then after that we go out to Bird Island and we walk around and we visit the Antiguan racer snake and the brown pelican which are also some endangered species out there. Turtle Project Coordinator Michael Clovis says the biggest threat to sea turtles is habitat loss. One of the biggest threats to sea turtles is habitat loss or loss of those natural areas that they use um, either in the ocean or on the land and the areas that they use on land are our beaches for nesting. Um, and, and that habitat can be destroyed naturally, for instance, in storms. Um, uh, the hurricane Eel that recently passed through actually destroyed uh, many of the nesting sites, um, at least temporarily. So we have no control over that, but we do have control over things like inappropriate lighting on beaches, um, dumping of garbage. Uh, turtles often mistake garbage for food. All sea turtle species found in the Caribbean are listed as endangered by International Union for Conservation of Nature. Antigua and Barbuda boast four species of sea turtle, hawksbill, green, leatherback, and loggerhead. Turtles are known as indicator species and provide great insight into what is happening with other marine life. Azara Lavier for ABS News.